What's up, guys? It's Jay. Morning after kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. <laughs> and Bungie just went live with their third and final live stream reveal for this week's upcoming April updates. <laughs> boy, boy, oh boy, it's a doozy. Woo! <laughs> There was a lot of amazing changes mentioned that's coming to the PvP portion of the game, specifically Trials of Osiris and the broken revive mechanics that a lot of players have been calling for some changes to be made to make revives a little less potent and more of a risk-reward factor. And while there's a lot of really good changes coming, all of this today on livestream was for absolutely nothing. <laughs> because after you got all that good shit, Bungie just came and took a giant dump right on everybody's front doorstep. And they lit it on fire with a Viking funeral. <laughs> Bungie, who's promised to evaluate and bring some sort of changes to the Viking Funeral Firebolt combo for Warlocks in PvP, not only mentioned today that Firebolts won't be receiving a nerf at all, but they're also receiving a buff to Radiance. Now, at the cost of toning down how long Radiance lasts, They've gone and fucking reduced the cooldown of the grenades, allowing you to throw more grenades than ever while Radiance in. What? <laughs> Little miniature star explosions and have all sorts of fun. So talk about the super. This super's active now. So this is Radiance. Um, what we did was try to make some trade-offs in it. So if uh, if you're running Fireborn, like 90% of the other players, yeah. on top of Storm Trance being too long, people people were really worried about the dot. Um, yeah. And the truth is, there's no simple solution there. So uh, dots aren't just about the damage they deal. Yeah. I think uh, John got into that a little bit. They are also about how the amount of time you can see your opponent, even through a wall, because you see numbers coming out of them. And they're also about stopping their shield regen so that they can't re-engage you. Um, and so a lot of the a lot of the Sunsinger subclass is built around it's built around these dots and using them with Firebolt. Firebolt on its own is actually not that strong, but it's more the, the Viking funeral build as okay. it's called. Yeah. And without essentially rebuilding uh, an entire section of mm -hmm. this subclass. Yep. There was, no, there was no simple way to adjust that. So we kind of left it alone. We, we looked at other, other points of frustration like Flame Shield and tried to take a little bit of the power out there. And okay. hopefully, hopefully that's enough, uh, but we're still watching. So know. the word is Firebolt grenades at this point in time are basically unchanged. Basically unchanged, yes. Okay. Not basically, they are unchanged. They are unchanged. <sighs> God damn it, Bungie. One job, you had one job, and that, and that was to bring down the overall effectiveness of the Warlock Sunsinger classes. Not only are they unwilling to make any changes to that at all, but they actually increased the amount of grenades that you can throw in one supercharge. Grenades that were supposedly being nerfed. Instead, they chose to slow the cooldown of the Flame Shield melee, which is nice, but kind of negated by the use of Claws of Amkara, which is one of the most popular exotics for Warlocks in the Crucible at the moment anyway. I, sh I, should, just, I should just pick up my keyboard right now and just face roll right across the... <laughs> <laughs> no words, Bungie. No words. And, and, and the reasoning behind this is because there's no way they can tone down the Firebolts or Viking Funerals without reworking the entire subclass or losing the effectiveness of the other grenades. H how about you just 
gray out Vikings funeral when you choose fire bolt grenades, motherfucker. <laughs> Make it not an option. And they talked about this all throughout the stream is they wanted to give a little bit more variety and options to the player, but allowing Firebolts and Viking Funeral to just reign dominant on the Sunsinger subclass is just spitting in the face of everything they've said today on live stream. And, and they've already set the precedent earlier this year that they can gray out nodes when the quiver glitch was active for the Night Stalker subclass. But after two years, they still refuse to do anything about this subclass or combination or even mention the horrible hit registry of the Blade Dancer subclass and supercharge. Just... I, I can't even right now. <laughs> I can't fucking even so my name is jay what did i have to kill i want to thank you guys for watching make sure you guys read comment subscribe if you could leave a thumbs up on the video i'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers to watch my motherfucking videos tell me in the comment section down below you, you got that you got that red ass from them firebolt grenades and viking funeral don't you i feel you dog I feel you. Tell me if you feel a little bit disenfranchised by the fact that so many good changes revealed today will now be overshadowed by the Bungie Warlock blunder. Because I do. I do. And I want to know if you agree in the comment section down below. My name is Jay. More than after kill. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys later. Oh, he needs some 